everyone, it's I, Wacky Anime with Up here, here to present you with What If Issei Had the Yandere Gear Part 3. Let's go ahead and get into this. Currently, Issei Hyodo has just woken up. He immediately looks in front of him and sees a horrifying sight, one sight that men would usually love, a cat fight. But no, these two particular cats in question, <laughs> he parenthesizes, and immediately says, they have knives, he says that in his mind, and he looks to them and sees Himiko Toga and Yunagasai pointing knives at each other, Yuna just screams out, he's mine, while Himiko Toga says, no, no, correction bitch, he's mine, she says with a sly smile, immediately Issei looks at them and says, in his mind, okay, now what are my options, and like a little screen appears in front of him in his head, and he sees Option one, scream like a little bitch and hope they don't come towards you. Option two, go back to sleep and ignore this happened. Option three, run out the door. Option four, sneak out the door and try to get out. Immediately, Issei says, you know what, I'll just run away. Immediately gets up out of the bed, unknown to both Yuno and <laughs> Himika Toga right now. As Yuno starts charging towards Toga. She starts to swing her right hand, which has a knife in it, directly towards Toga, directly swiping to her right, while Himiko Toga just dodges by ducking under her, grabbing her arm and twisting it and throwing her directly to Issei's wall that's near the window, crashing into the desk on the way, and immediately Yuno just get, gets up, rushes towards Toga, and they both start clashing their knives. And Issei, who is seeing this, is thinking, yeah, I'm actually going to sneak now. Uh, yeah, running away isn't an option. Sneaking away is an option, though. He just starts tiptoeing towards the door while both of them are fighting. And while they're fighting, Issei's just looking and seeing there's just sparks now. that He doesn't even see the knives no more. And he is scared. In his mind, he just thinks, "I why do I have to deal with this? God, why do you do this to me? And immediately starts sneaking towards the door a little bit quicker. Immediately grabbing the doorknob and opening it. And then as soon as he hears a click, he says, oh shit, I didn't open it quiet enough. He looks behind him to see Yunagasai and Toga both have stopped fighting and have their knives still in hand and just start looking into Issei's soul, very soul with their eyes, as Issei starts to shudder and says, Ha! You can't look into my soul, I don't have one, he says. And immediately they both start walking towards him very slowly, and Issei just opens the door, closes it behind him, and starts trying to run. But then he realizes the door didn't close all the way, and he sees Toga's hand directly on the door, just prying it open, and immediately Issei says, oh hell no, and he just starts running all the way down the stairs, while Toga is chasing directly after Issei. And right when Issei makes it all over the front door, opens it, tries to close it behind behind him just sees toka still has her hand on this door as well is trying to pry it open but isa says don't underestimate my fapping strength and then he closes it as hard as possible while toga just barely moves her fingers out of the way and isa just says oh okay so glad that i locked that door and then immediately thinking hold up the locks are inside so she could just unlock it what am i doing and then immediately he just starts thinking Okay, now I should probably start running before they catch up. Before he could even think about that, he immediately sees a pole in the door and sees, him, sees Toka's face and she just looks at him with a crazy smile and just says, here's Toka. And Issei just says, oh, hell no. And he just says, he's about to bolt off before hearing a crash behind him. Looks to the side and sees Yunagasai just jumped out of his window and just landed Terminator style on the ground and just gets up and says you take off your clothes and follow me <laughs> while Issei just says oh hell no <laughs> just starts running while you know is just chasing after him and Toga is just there and she just thinks how the fuck am I going to get out of this door now 
I'm stuck. And POV change. You say it's currently running away, heading towards the school, and then he realizes, today's Saturday. There is no school. What am I doing? And then he looks behind him and sees Yuno still following him. And he says, oh yeah, I'm running from crazy bitch. He starts running even faster. And Yuno is actually having some trouble keeping up. Until she ends up saying, Yandere strength, activate, in her head. And she starts running quicker. And Issei is being scared right now. She still has a knife in her hand. And Issei is just sweat dropping. And immediately just says, I have an idea. And he immediately just does a shortcut through the forest to the, to the fountain. Losing Yunagasai successfully. He heads towards the fountain, sits down, and tries to catch his breath. He just puts his hand on his chest and just starts breathing in and out and just says, bitches be crazy <laughs> in his head while laughing a little bit outside for the joke. And then he sees this one chick walking towards him and has an unknown school uniform. And Issei just looks at this chick and his mind says, oh, hell no. I'm just going to go ahead and get out of this. I, I, I don't want her coming towards me because any chick that's approaching me nowadays is just fucking crazy. Hell no. So he just gets up off the fountain that he was sitting he was sitting at, like the edge of the fountain, and just walks away. But then he looked behind him to see that she's following him. So he just starts speed walking. Just looks behind him again and sees that she's speed walking as well. And then he just says, I'm just gonna go ahead and fucking run. He says in his mind, he starts running. Looks behind him to see if she's running as well. And then Issei just says, What do you want from me? He starts screaming this. While she just looks at him while running towards him and says, I want to go on a date with you. And immediately Issei says, yeah, uh, that's a funny joke and all. But what do you actually want while still running? While she says, no, I actually want to go on a date with you. And Issei immediately says, hmm, yeah, how about a no? She says, how about yes? How about no? And then she says, how about yes? And Issei just says, I'm not, I don't want to deal with this today. I have not had my morning coffee. And he just starts running even quicker. But this girl is still persistent and is on his tail right now. So Issei just looks at her and says, stop chasing me. And she just says, why are you running? <laughs> and Issei just says, because you're chasing me. Now get away from me, crazy bitch. And then she just looks at him and says, did you just call me a crazy bitch? And Issei says, yes, I did. We don't like it? Well, she says, no, I don't. And Issei says, how about this? If you stop chasing me, then I'll direct you to five guys. And immediately, she looks at him and, and is offended, and she says, I'm not a slut. While, immediately, Issei says, uh, I didn't call you one. I was directing you to the actual fast food place, five guys. Hold up, did you think I was going to direct you to five actual guys? Oh my god, aren't you the naughty one, he says. And immediately, she looks at him and says, ah, uh, I see what you did there. And she just has a pissed face. And then immediately Issa says, yeah, I'm sorry, but definitely don't want to go out with you. I don't want to catch, like, any disease or anything, so, uh, bitch, be gone. And she starts running away. She just starts following him and says, you know what? Fuck this. She just goes into... Her actual clothes just disappear. And Issa just looks towards her and says, I fucking knew it. <laughs> And just immediately just runs towards her and kicks her directly in the face. And she just slides away while Issei was kicking her and says, Thought be gone. And immediately she just slid on the ground while her clothes reappeared in quite the slutty outfit. While Issei says, I do not want, I do not want what you're giving. And Issei immediately when saying this, she notices that she scowls and she has wings on her back now and just flies in the air and says says one word a few words will you die for me while well, he says how about fuck no how about no and no and also hell no and then he just starts running again while <laughs> while that fallen angel that's chasing him starts throwing light spears and then she says you know what 
Since you've been giving me this much trouble, I'll give you the give you the luxury to know my name. My name is Rainier. Well, Isha says, oh, hi, Rainier. My name is I don't give a fuck. While he's running, pissing off Rainier more. And she summons seven white spears and starts yeeting them towards him. Isha just dodges to the right, dodges to the left, and he just slides real smooth. <laughs> and just dodges like... Three to four light spears. And then he then he just says, Can't touch this while he just starts moonwalking a little bit. And <laughs> immediately moonwalked into a light spear and it just hits his hit, hits his kneecap. And he says, My fucking kneecap. While another one just lands into his other kneecap. And he says, My other kneecap. And then the last light spear ends up going directly into his shoulder. And he says, my fucking shoulder. And he says, I'm going to stop saying this, this out loud while screaming in pain. <laughs> and immediately fall into the ground while Rainier just flies downwards, walks towards him as the light spears disappear and he starts bleeding. And he starts clutching his kneecaps and starts to move to the left and right. And is very, very much in pain right now. And she, he says, ah, while holding his kneecap. And Rainier says, stop that. And he just starts doing it more and rolling over the side while saying, ah. And immediately, immediately, Rainier says, well, stop, stop that right now. And he continues doing this. And she says, you know what? I'm going to make your death really painful now. She just pulls out a light spear, just stabs him directly <laughs> into the chest. Directly piercing his heart. And immediately, Issei just falls, just immediately stops moving. And Rainier says, well, my job here is done. But before she can walk away, all of a sudden, Issei creepily just levitates off the ground and just rises to his feet and just starts chuckling. And Rainier turns behind, behind her to see Issei. She thinks with a question mark, questioningly, and immediately she notices Issa's eyes are completely pitch black, and there's purple irises, and that his actual body is changing. He has now has long hair, and immediately sees that his facial expression has changed, not to one of anger, but one of blank, just blank, no emotion. And his eyes just show pure insanity. And then Issei just walks closer towards Rainier. She feels a sense of dread. She pulls, she forms a few light spears and throws it directly at Issei, but she was shaking and it misses him. Issei just walks closer towards her, not saying a word and still bleeding out, mind you, and has a hole directly in his chest. And immediately Rainier says, get, get away from me. What are you? She starts screaming out while Issei merely just chuckles. <laughs> Issei starts chuckling louder and louder while walking towards Rainier and saying, I'm the one who owns everything. I own it all. It all belongs to me. Love, hate, anger. Everyone belongs to me. Everything belongs to me and me alone, he says in a deep voice that does not belong to him, with slightly a feminine voice behind it, talking in sync, while Rainier is currently freaking out because there's, there is dark, dark aura going around Issei. And she says, who are you? While... Issei says, my name, my my dear, is <laughs> none of your concern. After all, I'll be taking something. I'll be taking your life from you. And I'll be taking everything this world has to offer. And no one will stop me. <laughs> he, he says with a crackling smile forming on his face and sadistic eyes as he just disappears in front of Rainier's eyes and is directly in front of Rainier now has his hand directly on her face palm on her face and everything lifting Rainier up and just starts squeezing his hand 
Rainier starts to scream in agony, feeling her skull cracking slightly, and then immediately starts screaming and begging for her life. If you, if you let me go, I'll tell you where the rest of, rest of the fallen angels are. Just don't kill me, please. Please. She starts begging for her life. But Issei just looks at her, his irises with insanity, and says, Oh, I love when they beg for their life, beg for mercy. I just love it. Do it more. <laughs> beg like you mean it. You common street whore, is what he says, while throwing, throwing Rainier all the way across the entire park and having a huge impact. Trees are just blowing, being blown away. She's going through trees and she lands all the way towards a pond that's around Kyo Park and immediately tries to get out and fly away. But she realizes something. She feels a hand grabbing her wing. She looks behind, behind her to see Issei grabbing her wing and caressing it. And she's just frozen in fear right now. She doesn't even think to fight back. And Issei just starts caressing her wing and says, Well, you have quite beautiful wings. I hope you don't mind if I... While gripping the wing very tightly and looking towards her eyes and says, Take them. While the feminine voice and Issei's voice, slightly deeper, are both saying in sync while ripping off, ripping off Rainier's wings. And Rainier is screaming in pain and agony and starts coughing up blood while blood is bleeding from her back. And Issei just grabs her by the throat and says, Hush, hush, dear. I don't want you to wake up the whole neighborhood. As soon as he starts crushing her throat, crushing her windpipe completely. And then he says, Any last words? While Rainier just looks into her, his eyes and says, Please don't. Don't kill me. And Issei just says, oh, I won't be killing you. I'll be reforming you. While darkness surrounds Issei's hand and starts going all the way around, around Rainier and starts going all the way, consuming her completely and consuming the wings on the, on, in the pond. And she starts to just disappear as the shadow just oh, goes over her horrified face and she's completely gone. While, while the per person possessing Issei right now just walks directly out of the pond that, mind you, Issei was currently walking on, just not even floating, just walking on the pond, and just walks all the way towards, walks all the way towards Kyo Fountain again, then immediately puts his hand forward and says, I who summon you, I who desire the world, I who deserve it, and I who am the embodiment of obsession and love, command you to come forth and serve your master. A feminine voice says, overshadowing Issei's own voice, coming directly out of Issei's body saying this, and then a circle appears, a pitch black circle with a heart in the middle of it with black blood bleeding from the heart symbol and immediately Rainier starts to form and she's in the circle and she says what, what's happening and Issei says oh I'm just reforming you dear don't worry this will hurt a lot and screams could be heard from Kyo Park but Issei the person possessing Issei put up a sound barrier no one could hear her screams as her body was being melted and reformed into a different person entirely. And Issei just looks towards this new person. The person possessing Issei looks towards this new person and says, My dear, what is your name? While looking at, at this woman who has horns directly on her head. And quite the robust bust and quite the delightful assets. And immediately has fallen angel wings and yellow eyes that show pure insanity and lust. As Issei says, so what is your name, my darling? <laughs> says with a little chuckle at the end. While said woman looks at him, kneels down and says, my name is Albedo. It's a pleasure to serve you, master. She does with a little head tilt, 
while the person possessing Issei does a little does a sinister smirk. And that's where I'm going to end. What if Issei had the Yandere Gear Part Three? I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button.